Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing our Haunted House of Helm solo RPG, where uh, this is Chapter 7. Uh, last we left off a few days ago, we were um, we just spoke to the mayor. We did, he did something mysterious and buried something. We uncovered, we, once he, the mayor, proceeded back inside his house, we snuck back to his backyard, dug it up, and found a box. There was strange, strange runes in the box, what we found. And it appears it was a summoning ritual spell. So we've added that to our inventory and using my lucky throws my lucky uh, my old uh, my own rpg game type lucky throw which is the d20 system where you're allowed up to 10 items we have to have dagger lock pick another lock pick disguise kit thieves tools light crossbow map throwing knife hooded cloak and the summoning ritual spell so then we were able to hightail it out of there we left the backyard, hopped over the fence, and now we're heading inside the house. Nobody saw me. So, uh, where we left off, the weather was overcast, winds picking up. So there was a sudden change in weather. It was originally warmer that not that morning. Now it's probably mid morning or almost afternoon. Or, I'm sorry, almost noon. So now that the the mayor is kind of a lost cause at this point of the story. I am tempted to go back to the tavern to see if um, Helen has showed herself or appeared. If not, then I'm tempted to find a local merchant who possibly is familiar with what I'm, what I found. So. Or even, again, Kaylin is a wizard, so we'll see if she is familiar with, with the scroll I found. So let's go ahead and see if we can, if there's anybody. I'm, I'm assuming I'm still at the side of the house, so I am on the side of the Maris house. The Maris house. I'm going to see if there's anybody. These are our D20. If there's anybody in front of her house, in front of the Merit house. Or what we can do is try to put more detail into the narrative and ask the Oracle how the side of the Merit house is. Is it a alleyway? Between two homes, is it a path where the mayor's house kind of sits on the side of, or is it covered in bushes? So let's roll. Let's ask a vague, a generic question to get started. Is the side of the mayor's house an alleyway? Yes or no? We'll do possible. Oops, sorry. Six. So it is not an alleyway. Is the side of Maris House a dirt path? Let's do likely. It is not. Is the side of Maris House just foliage, just the, the edge of the forest? Let's do highly likely. Plus four, so I want to roll again because I called the, the likelihood too late. So let's do plus four. Okay, yep, it is. So the side of the mayor's house is foliage. It's just trees. It's trees. Are the trees fairly tall? Let's do highly likely. 
six so plus four we have seven eight nine ten eleven okay so the trees the trees are somewhat tall okay now let's go let's see is there anybody can i sneak up to the other side of the house let's do a uh stealth check so what we'll do we'll do a lucky throw against the the environments because i'm also you know the voice i'm the grand you know grandmaster the dungeon master however you want to say in my game is the voice but because i'm doing everything let's throw a lucky throw against the environment environment will go first i have to beat a 17 which is relatively difficult my lucky charm is plus four so i add plus four to my roll Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. I attempt to sneak back to the front of the front of the of the side on the side the side of the mayor's house. Now, did I step on something? Like did I step on a a rake and smell myself like the three stooges or did i step on a branch that make a noise let's see we'll do unlikely as a person of stealth i doubt that's the reason okay so it's not it's a maybe i kicked something i made a slight noise Did somebody, whoops. Did somebody, um, see, did somebody hear the noise? Let's do possible, so zero, no modifier. 11, okay. So question is who made the, who saw me or heard the noise? Heard a Slight noise. Heard the noise. What did I step on? Let's see. Let's ask the oracle. What did I step on as a rogue sneaking on the side of a house? All right, D6. A rusty nail. Ooh, okay. By stepping on a rusty nail. Well, if that's the case, did I make a? <laughs> did I express some? <laughs> did I make a noise like pain? Did I make a, a any sound because I stepped on a nail? Let's do highly likely plus four. So I didn't. Okay. Maybe I. No, nah, that's a six. held back the pain. Well, did the nail... I stepped on a nail. Completely missed it. Did, did the nail impale my foot? Let's do highly likely. Eight, yeah, it did, okay. Nine, 10, 11, 10. yeah, it did. Which impaled my foot. Okay, so now I'm injured. All right, let's see. If I'm injured and it's a small nail, I'm going to do, do T4. Did I take damage for this? Let's do okay. Let's do a lucky throw to see if I took damage for this. We're still working our way up to who who heard the noise. The voice will throw first. The environment, okay. If I roll higher, equal or higher to, I took no damage. Okay, even with my lucky charm, well, okay, so I took no damage.
I pull the nail out of my foot. Am I bleeding? Let's do likely. 13, I am, okay, I am bleeding. I am bleeding. Now I look up and see someone who heard, who heard me. Just, just had a chance of hearing me. Now, I stepped on the nail. Someone barely heard me. Who is nearby in a village? He ate. There's a guard. Stray dog. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, that's that's pretty harmless. A stray dog looks to me. Uh, is the stray dog in the distance, like across the path? So, is the stray dog on the other side of the path in front of the mayor's house? 14, yes. All right. The stray dog is on the other side of the path in front of me. I remain still. Does me remaining still cause the dog to just walk away? without barking or any movement. Let's do highly likely plus four. Well, actually, no, this is a, this would be an environmental throw against the dog. So dog, here's the dog's throw. Eight, okay, not, but should be simple. My plus four, come on, oh my gosh. I literally one away from, oh my gosh, okay, so, One away from, all right, so the dog does something ineffective. Oops. The dog, what is, does the dog come to us? Does the dog wander over to us? Let's say highly likely, plus four. Yes, <laughs> the dog's, the dog walks over to us. The stray dog approaches. Behavior. Uh oh, please don't hit me parking. <laughs> D4, not a lot of choices here. Two, cautiously sniffing. Okay. And starts sniffing is the dog sniffing my foot where i stuck my toe let's redefine that i stopped my toe if i spell that wrong too bad is the dog sniffing my foot let's say a certainty so plus six on that difficulty Two, so eight. All right, the, the dog starts sniffing around my leg, just gen in general area. It's cautious, so hmm, I don't have any treats to give it. I don't have any food. Um, I don't want it to bark. Do I see anybody around besides the dog? Let's say possible because it's still the village. 17, okay. I look up and see how many people do I see? Let's do, all right. I try to notice 
if there is anybody around this quiet village where I am sneaking while the dog sniffs my foot. Who is who is around? D6. All right. You guys see that? No, that's even worse. There we go. All right. Uh, D6. So we're going to roll D6 here. D5. Looks like it's a. Uh oh, it's a patrolling guard. I just realized you guys cannot see the Oracle. I'm going to fix that right now. Let's do fit. There we go. Same thing with the journal. Let's do fit. Perfect. Good. We'll zoom in so you guys can see that. Okay, good, good, good. And I, so I rolled a five patrolling guard and I see a patrolling guard. I have my hood up right now. And that's obviously mysterious. I'm in the shadows, I'm guessing. Am I in the shadows? Let's do highly likely plus four. Am I in the shadows right now? Oh, yeah, I'm in the shadows. From the house, I'm guessing. So there's a patrolling guard. Oh, the dog. What's the dog doing? <laughs> What's the dog doing? <laughs> All right, so we still got the dog. It's being friendly. friendly. Um, I'm going to try to pet the dog. I cautiously pet the dog. I slowly pet the dog. I attempt to slowly pet the dog, sniff it. Let's do stray dog, sniffing my foot, my leg. Reaction. Oh, no, don't please don't bark. Oh, shit. <laughs> this would throw the whole narrative crazy. Literally just a D4. Come on, don't be four. You don't be. Oh, gosh. Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay, the dog gently licks my hand. Is the tail the dog's tail wagging? Let's do a certainty. Well, this actually this actually could attract attention from the guard, seeing this happy dog just kind of like randomly licking a shadowy figure. A shadowy figure. Uh let's do highly likely plus four. 19. Okay. The dog seems friendly. I'm going to kneel. I will slowly kneel down to keep, uh, let's see, to keep out of sight of the guard. Is, uh, is the guard walking to us or away from us? Is, is the guard walking in our direction? Let's, we actually don't know. Let's just say possible. We haven't defined where he is. Uh, yes, possible. Okay. The guard is walking towards us. I'm going to I'm going to back away a bit slowly. Let's do a lucky throw against the environment if I can back away slowly without causing a ruckus or a problem. Lucky throw? Oh my gosh. Of course I do. Yeah, even with those two low throws. Uh, let's see, successful. Let's highlight the dog as an important item because I think I'm going to compare, what do I call it? Uh, adopt the dog as a pet. Where is the dog? That's pretty, yeah, straight on. 
because that would be a great little addition to the narrative. Um, let's see. Does the dog follow me as I walk back? Sneak back. Let's do high, uh, certainty plus six. Okay. Yeah, it does. So 14. Yes. So we have certainty. Yeah. Okay. The dog slowly follows us. I continue petting him. Oh, it actually. Yeah, what kind of dog is it? Let's see. Back, let's see, in Middle Ages, what kind of dog gender is it? D10. All right, it's a male shepherd. Okay. The dog is a male shepherd. Oh, we have a uh, Mass Effect reference here. Dog is a shepherd. So, age, let's see if it's old, young. Let's actually base this on a diet, a roll, a diet. Um, sorry. Now, let's see what the Oracle says. Age. Age. I probably should put down dog's age, unless it remembers the context. D six. Five. Oh, it's an elderly dog. Okay. Elderly. Any food? Okay, let's see. Um, I'm in the edge of the village. Let me give this dog some food. But I can't really give any. Is there? Are there any like berries or fruits nearby? Let's say likely. Maybe there's a there's a tree or some kind of brush that has uh, some fruits growing. Out. I have no idea. Let's do likely plus two ten. Okay. I see. I see a. Is it a basket of berries? Highly likely, plus four? No, it's not, okay. Is it a tree that grows, some kind of plant that grows fruit? Likely. Yes, it is, okay. I see a small plant with fruit growing out of it in front of me. That's just a side. That's just a side note. Has the guard walked by yet? Highly likely. Plus four. Three. Oh shit! Wasn't walked by yet. The guard stopped. Uh, did the guard see the dog? The tail wagging. Let's do likely plus two. Come on. The guard saw, I have an idea. The guard saw the dog's tail wagging. Is the guard going to walk over? Which, I mean, it's just a stray dog, but it's also on the side of the mayor's house. So let's say likely, does the guard walk over to inspect? Like, well, I, I guess what I'm doing is not, entirely illegal or like it, it's it's suspicious but i don't know there's much context here does the guard walk over to inspect let's say highly likely it's a guard inside the mayor's house plus four but also it's a tree dog plus four in the result nine so 10 11 12 30 yep okay the guard slowly walks over to the dog to where i am I, uh, I quickly 
um, hide my weapons behind my cloak, remove my hood, and pet the dog casually. I will look okay. once the guard comes close, comes closer, I will greet him. I will greet him and lie about this dog being my oh this dog belonging to me and it ran off chasing a squirrel or something had to catch it catch him so i'm also going to think of a name so well this could be my choice or we could bring as the oracle names for that dog i just only calling it shepherd bruno <laughs> biscuit scout <laughs> d8 we have a companion now. Three. Luna. Well, let's do male names. Male names. Sure, that's God. Well, I guess Luna, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to skip that. Next is just, just more, yeah. G6. Six. six Thor. <laughs> Thor. Dog's name is now Thor. All right, let's, let's add this to our... Um, to our, our bio here. Uh, companion. We'll put it right above items. Compa whoops. Companion. Dog. Older male shepherd. Or dog named Thor, older male shepherd. Oh, an older dog named Shepherd. Sorry, just fixing some spelling errors. It's a very small font. Older. Uh, old dog. Let's see, an old male dog. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Is the guard surprised to see us? Did we surprise the guard? Was too highly likely. What we don't. Oh, okay. The guard sees us, but isn't surprised. The guard sees us petting the stray dog, but isn't surprised. Reactions. D6, let's see. Approaches the chat. Oh, okay. The guard says, uh, okay. The guard wants to chat. Okay, let's see what the guard has to say if that's what the oracle spits out. There we go. It just doesn't really keep an eye on where he is. He just doesn't know where he's at the mayor's house. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, uh, D6. Three. Sure, so local gossip. Okay. Is the gossip about the dog? <laughs> 
I mean, it's just like the, the, the town's dog, like mascot is about the dog. Oh, I didn't do a modifier. Sorry. Uh, let's do unlikely. 13. Minus two. Okay, well, so what's it about? Oh, it's about wolves? Actually, let's go to the Oracle for this. Three gossip. Talks about the eight. Oh, context. Local haunted house. All right, D six. The guard says, "All right, let's let's just just get the conversation started." It says hi. Oops, no. It says hi. I wave while petting Thor. <laughs> I roll the three. Interesting disappearance. The guard mentions he's going around warning villagers about disappearance, disappearing villagers. Three, how, how many have disappeared? Oh, look what you're wow. I ask him, I stand up and ask who has disappeared. Four, he says, four children. Does the guard recognize, do I recognize the guard? Because I used to live here, if I, if I recall my backstory correctly. <laughs> Let's say highly like let's say likely. Do I recognize the guard? Oh I do. Okay. Or actually yeah, the fourth is pretty good pretty good yes. It's a good yes. I recognize the guard. Names for the guard. I tell the guard. of my travels with my dog Thor <laughs> and how I somewhat recognize him. I guess his name, which is a D6. Thor. Cedric? I guess his name is Cedric. All right. I guessed his name Cedric correctly. How does he respond? Does he remember me? Six again. He doesn't remember me, but intrigued. Four. He doesn't remember me. I do. I have to say, I do like using Oracle for dialogue. He doesn't remember me. What does he say? D six again. If D six is good for dialogue, five. He asks if someone told me uh, told me about him. Is he the only town's guard? Let's do a certainty. Twelve. Okay, so that's a border border. Yes, I assume he is the only one of two. He is possibly the only guard. 
I tell him I used to live here several years ago. I jokingly say there wasn't much of a guard, wasn't much of a town's guard count here. I jokingly tell him it's a, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, would I roll six? Wait, what did I roll for? Oh, that's B20. Dang it, I forgot my last roll. Four, yeah, sorry. What did I roll? Oh, yeah, five. I'm sorry. I rolled a five. I jokingly tell him, so I got to do that. Five equal. I jokingly tell him it's a small village. I used to live here several years ago only knew of him as the guard how does he respond I, I tell him i used to live here several years ago jokingly say there wasn't much of a town's guard count here uh oh d6 six oh interesting okay i rolled a six he wonders why I came back after all this time. I'm going to just flat out say it. The haunt I tell him about the haunted helm. I heard it's gotten worse and came back to finally rid the helm of the evil spirits that dwell inside. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to replace helm with house just so the oracle can get the context. So six equals that. I tell him about the haunted house. I heard it's got worse and came back to finally rid the house of the evil spirits that dwell inside. Response. Okay. D6. At least he hasn't arrested us yet. D6. Oh, interesting. Okay. The guard tells us to be careful. Or I should say, tells me. I guess, well, there's a dog, but tells me to be careful and keep him updated. Oh, actually. I will ask him, I will say, first I'll say, say, I'll say thank you. I will thank him. And, the, and ask him if he's seen our friend, Kaylen, this morning. All right. Has he, this is just a simple yes or no, maybe or no. Well, yes or no, or like I possibly. So let's say, because uh, he's been walking around, but she's kind of a, I don't know, I'm guessing she's a sleuth or she hasn't been at the tavern this morning as we expect her to be. So let's say unlikely, but he's been around. So unlikely, minus two. Oh, wow. Okay. He says he has not. Did he see you the night before? Let's say highly likely. Yep. But saw her last night. I say, I tell him, ask him at the tavern. Did you see her at the tavern? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot the modifier. Um, Possible. Oh, no. If she's always there, let's say highly likely, plus four. Yeah. He says yes. Oh, we're, having, we're having this whole entire conversation on the side of the Maris house. 
has the mayor stepped out of the house at all? Has anybody stepped out of the house and during this entire conversation? Let's say unlikely. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> at this point, at this point, somebody steps out of the mayor's house. Mayor's uh, house is front door. We'll do a simple D4 for this. It, um, one and two, it's the mayor. Three and four, it's the wife. Okay. The mayor, we'll correct this. We'll say the mayor steps out the front door. But the mayor steps out the front door. Does the guard greet the mayor? Let's do a certainty because he's the mayor. Okay. The uh, the guard greets the mayor. Just, uh, does the mayor greet him back? This is highly likely plus four. Yes. The mayor, it's him back. Does the mayor see us? Like, is am I blocked by the side of the house? Does the mayor see us? Let's say possible. No. Wow. The mayor does not see us at first. Um, is the mayor suspicious of us? Of the guard being on his yard. Is the mayor suspicious of the guard being on the side of his house? Sorry, I was doing an audio check. Let's say likely. Oh, yeah. The mayor asks the guard what's going on. Does the guard tell us about does the guard tell the mayor about me? Highly like plus four. Yes. The mayor mentions me and the haunted helm situation. Now, let me get some uh, water really quick. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we're back. Just audio check. All right, good. All right, so because from earlier, if I recall correctly, the mayor was really difficult to deal with for some reason in regards to the haunted helm. And we can't forget about the fact that there's four children missing. I don't want to lose that little side plot, that little side story. What do you call it? Subplot. Um... Because the mayor was a was a subplot at one point, but we found him. Uh, Kaylin is also a subplot. Kaylin. Let's see. The mayor mentions me. Does the mayor respond at all because of the haunted uh, hell mention? Let's say uh, highly unlikely, minus four. Oh, does not. <laughs> the mayor, whoops. The mayor doesn't say a word after the guard mentions Helm. I tell the guard, the mayor doesn't seem to. Oh, well, hold on. Okay. I tell the guard. What should I tell the guard here? The guard's a middle man. He's not exactly uh, he's a neutral party in, the, in this current conversation. 
He's not uh, an obstacle. He's not a threat. He's just more of a casual observer that's just inquiring about what we were doing here in the dog. Which I'm still glad we got as a companion because that's freaking awesome. Um, this might be a good point to end, I think. I like the 45 minute time clock we're on right now, the time. Um, I just like where the, like, if this was like a, an episode of a show, it just, the mayor just kind of stands there all quiet. So, or I'll just do this. I lean, I lean over because the mayor does see us. Yeah. I, I lean over to the mayor and uh, say, Mayor, I'll go, Mr. Mayor. Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any details on the helm? Does the mayor respond to me? I'm trying to persuade. Actually, this would be a lucky throw plus four. So let's do the voice throw, the mayor's throw. Five, wow. My throw, 19, hell yeah. The mayor does respond. We'll leave it there. I think that's a perfect spot. He finally answers us with the guard right in front, right there. Kind of just casually there, there. for the king. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, that's it for this episode, I think chapter seven of the haunted house of helm solo rpg thank you for watching and we will continue next time take care and i'll see you soon